Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to calculate F1 score for multi-class classification. When it comes to evaluating the performance of any machine learning model, we use uh, different metrics like uh, accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score and so on. In this video, we will understand uh, what is F1 score and how to calculate F1 score for multi-class classification. F1 score is uh, preferable when we have imbalanced class distribution. Uh, let us take an example. Uh, we have 1000 examples. Out of 1000 examples, 800 uh, belongs to one class and uh, remaining 200 examples belongs to another class. So in this case, uh, we have an imbalanced class distribution. In such case, uh, we cannot use accuracy performance matrix. In such cases, we need to use uh, F1 score so that we will be able to judge the machine learning model more accurately. F1 score is uh, preferred uh, whenever uh, we want to get the balanced measure between precision and recall. That is nothing but uh, type 1 and uh, type 2 errors. As F1 score is uh, more sensitive to data distribution, it is suitable measure for classification problems on imbalanced data sets. In binary classification, uh, we will get overall uh, F1 score for the entire data set. But when it comes to multi-class classification, uh, F1 score is generated for every class. For example, if we have uh, three classes, F1 score is generated for all the three classes separately. But in uh, binary classification, we will get uh, overall F1 score for the entire data set. First, we will try to see what is uh, F1 score and uh, what is the formula to calculate F1 score. F1 score is uh, one of the common measure to rate how successful a classifier is. It's a harmonic mean of uh, two other metrics, namely precision and uh, recall. To calculate the F1 score, we can use the formulae that is uh, 2 times precision multiplied by recall divided by precision plus recall. So using this particular formulae, we can calculate the F1 score uh, for binary classification or if you are using multi-class classification, we have to calculate this F1 score for every individual class separately. Now we will try to understand uh, how to calculate the F1 score for multi-class uh, classification. As I said earlier, uh, we have to calculate the F1 score for individual uh, class uh, like uh, one versus uh, rest or something like that. So we need to consider one class at a time and the remaining everything will be considered as other side and then we need to calculate the F1 score. Similarly, we have to do it for other uh, classes in that case. Now uh, we will take a very simple example to understand uh, how to calculate F1 score. Uh, we will consider a confusion matrix consisting of uh, 127 samples and uh, four classes namely A, B, C and D. Uh, here we have written the actual classes and here we have written the predicted classes here. If you look at this particular 50, the 50 is uh, there are 50 a class examples are there and they were classified as A here. The meaning is it's a true A you can say. Similarly this uh, 8, 8 represents uh, there are 8 uh, B class examples are there and they were classified as B here. Again these are the true uh, class B examples are correctly classified here. Similarly for C and D here. Now when it comes to 3, there are 3 B class examples are there but they were classified as A here. That is nothing but false positive in this case. Similarly, if you consider this 26, 26 are of type A and they were classified as B here. It is nothing but false negative in this case. Actually, they are of type A, but they were classified as B. That is the reason it is called as false negative. These are of type B, but they were classified as A. That is the reason it is called as false positive in this case. Similarly, for other numbers, you can uh, understand which is uh, false positive and which is false negative here. Now what we do is uh, we will consider uh, each class uh, at a time and then we will try to calculate the F1 score here. Now if I consider uh, uh, the class A, first we need to calculate the precision recall for uh, class A. That is the uh, precision of uh, class A is 
true positive when class is equal to a divided by true po positive when class is equal to a plus false positive when class is equal to a so this is a formula to calculate precision that is true positive divided by true positive plus false positive but we have to specify when class is equal to a here because uh, we have to calculate the f1 score individually now what is true positive when class is equal to a is if you look at this particular thing this one this uh, 50 is uh, nothing but uh, the true positive when class is equal to a and uh, what we need is uh, this one one more number that is uh, false positive when class is equal to a false positive is this number that is uh, 3 are of type b but they were classified as a the meaning is it's a false positive when class is equal to a again 0 and 0 are also false positive if I add all these things, it will become a false positive in this case. So, numerator we will get 50 divided by true positive again 50 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0. That is nothing but 50 divided by 3. That is the precision when class is equal to A here. So, that is equal to 0.943 here. Similarly, when it comes to the other one, that is uh, recall when class is equal to A. The formula is uh, true positive divided by true positive plus false negative now. So true positive we already know that is 50. This true positive is again 50. What is false negative we have to check it out. False positive when class is, e is equal to A is that is uh, 26 because the 26 examples are of type A but they were classified as B. Similarly 20 examples are of type A they were classified as C. 12 examples are of type A but they were classified as D here. So all these things are false negative in this case. That is 26 plus 20 plus uh, 12 in this case. That is nothing but uh, 26 plus 20 is 46 plus 12 is 58 here. So the answer is 50 for retrieve positive. This uh, 50 for retrieve positive and for this Fn we have 58. That is nothing but 50 divided by 108 which is equal to 0.463 here. Now, once you calculate this uh, precision recall, we can calculate the F1 score when class is equal to A. That is nothing but 2 times precision when class is equal to A multiplied by recall when class is equal to A divided by precision plus recall. So, if you put this particular values in this equation, you will get the F1 score as 0.621 when class is equal to A here. Similarly, we have to find uh, the precision and recall for all the classes separately. Here I have shown the precision when class uh, is equal to B is uh, 0.228 and uh, recall when class uh, B is equal to B is equal to 0.615. Precision when class is equal to C is uh, 0.154. Recall when class is equal to C is uh, 1.0. Precision when class is equal to D is 0.077. Recall when class is equal to D is equal to 0.5. So once you know the precision and recall for every class, you can calculate the F1 score for individual classes. That is F1 score when class is equal to B is 2 times precision multiplied by recall divided by precision plus recall when a class is equal to B. We have already calculated these numbers. Use these particular numbers. In this equation, you will get F1 score when class is equal to B, class is equal to C, and class is equal to D. In this case, uh, we got uh, F1 score when class is equal to B as uh, 0.333, F1 score when class is equal to C as uh, 0.267, F1 score when class is equal to D as 0.133 here. So this is the simple process uh, we need to follow to calculate the F1 score for multi-class classification. One uh, point you can remember here, when it comes to binary classification, we will get uh, overall uh, F1 score, that is uh, one F1 score for the entire data set. But when it comes to F1 score for multi-class classification, for every class, we have to calculate the F1 score separately uh, by considering uh, one versus rest in this case.
So in this video, uh, we have understood how to calculate the F1 score for multi-class classification. Uh, if you like the video, do like and uh, share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.